peace and welcome. Today we have our top 10 Robin Beanland themes in video games. You may know his music from some Conquer games or perhaps some Killer Instinct games. So let's get this underway. Our first up today comes from Donkey Kong Country, Funky's Fuel. Donkey Kong Country was first released on the Super Nintendo in 1994. You can also find this as track 16 on DK Jams, which was released in 1995. And by the way, if you manage to find DK Jams for a decent price, you might want to grab it. It's getting a little bit expensive. This track, Funky Fugue, was actually from an internal progress report video. If you want confirmation, you can check out Mr. Beanland's Twitter. In February of 2019, he stated it was originally created for the Killer Instinct update video. The track kind of stands out from the rest of the DKC soundtrack in my opinion, but it really fits with the Killer Instinct soundtrack. The track is a classic. It was even included in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that was released in 2018. Number 9. Conker's Pocket Tales, Willow Woods. Released for the Game Boy Color on June 8th of 1999. Some people may not realize, but this is the first game in the Conker series. The entire Conker's Pocket Tales soundtrack was composed by Robin Beanland. I couldn't find the credits for each individual track, so I ended up tweeting Mr. Beanland and he informed us that he did the entire soundtrack and Evelyn Fisher programmed it into the Game Boy. First, thanks to Mr. Beanland for the reply, and second, we gotta give a shout out to Evelyn Fisher for the programming. Many people have been handed a tune and failed in the process of digitizing it into a chip tune. Maybe the sound chip didn't perform as they expected, or maybe something was lost in translation. And well, that did not happen here. The final product speaks for itself. In at number 8, we have Conker's Bad Fur Day, Windy and Company. From the second game in the Conker series, Conker's Bad Fur Day was released in 2001 for the Nintendo 64. theme with a light-hearted feeling, I almost get a western cowboy vibe, but not a serious version, more along the lines of Woody from Toy Story. And this might actually be a good fit for certain scenes in Toy Story. It's a quality theme and definitely deserves a spot in our top 10 today. It was a close call between this and a theme titled Rock Solid. But once we really listened, it was a no-brainer, Windy and Company all the way. Our lucky number 7 spot is held by Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, a theme titled Logbox Lunacy. in 2000. 
2008, this Xbox 360 exclusive is a good reason to own an Xbox. But it also works on the Xbox One thanks to backwards compatibility. This game is also featured on the Rare Replay compilation, which also happens to feature some of my favorite Rare games, including Cobra Triangle on the NES. But let's get back on topic. This theme has a lot of variation. It's not a beat that is just set on loop. I get a little bit of a Tim Burton vibe from this one. I can picture this playing in the background of many different movies, such as The Nightmare Before Christmas and Edward Scissorhands also comes to mind. In my opinion, it's a top-notch theme and deserves a spot in our top 10. Number six is from the Killer Instinct 2 arcade game, The Tusk Theme. This theme also appears in Killer Instinct Gold on the Nintendo 64, released in 1996, the same year as the arcade game. So this one may be an unpopular opinion, but I like the theme. It's my favorite from KI Gold. It has a Conan the Barbarian feel. I can picture medieval sword fights with knights and goblins. I think this theme would fit well in a game like Golden Axe. I was playing it recently and this theme came to mind. It has an epic feel and is a great theme for a fighting game with the Barbarian. Number five comes from the Rare Replay, the opening number instrumental. Released in 2015 on the Xbox One, the Rare Replay compilation gets two thumbs up from me. It's how re-releases like this should be. You can tell some time and some effort went into making this, and the fact they included so many games. This theme has a very theatrical feel. It's perfect for a presentation like this. They are bringing you some classic games and want to show them off a bit. You can find Easter eggs all throughout the theme. For example, you can hear the Battletoads pause theme. It's a little bit short, clocking in at 1 minute and 16 seconds. But for what it is, it's well done. You can also find a version with lyrics, but we are focusing on Mr. Beanless music, so instrumental it is. Unlucky number four comes from GoldenEye 007, the elevator music on the stage control. From the one and only GoldenEye 007, what really needs to be said about this game? It set the bar and it set it high. only theme on the GoldenEye soundtrack composed by Robin Beanland. It's very well done. I love how it has the Bond theme mixed in and set to a smooth jazz type of feel. One thing that I really like on this theme is that bass line. Near the end of the track it really goes off. And if this is elevator music then sign me up. How would you like to be riding a random elevator and this was playing? If I ever own an elevator 
this will be on loop 24 seven. I'll even tweet Mr. Beanland and get permission. Our number three position today is held by Jet Force Gemini, SS Anubis. Released in 1999 for the Nintendo 64, I would have to say Mr. Beanland knows how to make good tunes using the Nintendo 64 sound chip. At first, this one reminds me a little bit of Tusk's theme from KI2, but it really heads in a different direction and sets itself apart once it gets going. Around the two minute mark, this theme really amps it up and a few more instruments join in to create an epic theme. Kudos to Mr. Beanland on this one. Some people may disagree about this one and the Jet Force Gemini soundtrack, but this one will always have a place in our top 10 Robin Beanland themes. In at our number two spot, we have one from the Sea of Thieves, Summon the Megalodon. Released in 2018 for Windows and Xbox One with a re-release in 2020 on the Xbox Series X. The entire soundtrack was done by Robin Beanland. Out of all the soundtracks we had to narrow down, this was probably the most difficult. On a game like 007, he only made one theme, so we just had to place it in the top 10 if we felt like it was one of the best. However, with this soundtrack, there's an abundance of good music to choose from. The entire soundtrack does a great job of portraying life at sea, and the thought about the pirate life in general. If you listen to the soundtrack, you can't help but think of pirates. It's that well done. When we get around to doing our top 10 pirate themes in gaming, you can expect to see something from this game. And of course, our honorable mentions. position today, we have an unforgettable classic, the main theme from Killer Instinct. An iconic theme that made its debut on the arcade version of KI. Since then, it has been heard worldwide. dark powerful theme, this is one of those pieces of music that is synonymous with its game and franchise. It's an excellent piece from an underrated composer. This is the type of theme you can get goosebumps from, especially if you are into the game and have fond memories. And I also know plenty of people who didn't play KI, but the theme is so popular, even they recognize it. 
It may not be Mario 1-1 level of iconic, but when naming a more iconic theme that's few and far between. The electric guitars, drums, the bass, and just how everything comes together, it's flawless, and I wouldn't change a single thing. I think this one was a little bit predictable. When you have a certified iconic theme, it's kind of difficult to not put it as number one. And I know I used the word iconic a few times when describing it, but let's be real. That's probably in the top 10 most iconic video game themes. And our next top 10 will be our top 10 Koichi Sugiyama themes. So feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you think. Last but not least, Shoutouts to Gold Level Patrons Bersona and Quantum X. I'm ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace.